I personally was not in Katrina. Oh, okay. I thought one of those ribbons was from Katrina. Uh, right. We all received that ribbon because we were active during that time of service. So all of the uh, the Coast Guard Auxiliary was awarded this accommodation. Ah, so you could have been we sent could. dispatched. Right. There, and, and pretty much everybody took part in some way or another by either supporting here at home by doing additional work or administrative and supporting the, the people that were there. And just to give you an idea of some of the things you could be doing, Neil, you mentioned, helped out with the Red River flooding. Right, I've been up there the last three years. Uh, we there's there's one of the areas where we can augment the active duty. Uh, there's generally uh, three or four helicopters that are set up from various bases around the in the nation to assist with evacuation. And our radio communications team operates out of Fargo, and we assist by doing the radio communications and radio guard, as we call it for the helos while they're on, on their missions, uh, rescuing people and uh, doing overflights, uh, observing uh, dams and, and uh, sandbag operations. So basically any interest that I have, whatever it might be, I know Kerry's in, interested in being a ham radio operator, obviously, he's interested in, in uh, medic and that sort of thing. Any interest you have, do you have available in the Coast Guard? We do, pretty much. Uh, most of our crews that uh, that go out uh, operational uh, and boat crew, uh, we also try to to have uh, uh, trained first responders or EMTs also available. So we're we're working on uh, doing a good job with with teaching CPR, first aid, first responder type training as well for our crews and people that are going to be on the water. We want them to be able to assist boaters that are in distress while they're out on the water. You mentioned, Neil, that you get a lot back from all this. What do you think you get back? I think the, the personal satisfaction of uh, saving lives, ed educating the public about boating safely. Uh, we work boat shows, so that's another way of getting the message out there, encouraging people to take education. Um, because when you are handed the keys of, with a boat, you go on the water, there's no license required, there's no education or training required, but I think through our efforts and through other boating organizations' efforts, the, the number of boating fatalities has dropped over the past few years, which I think we can attribute to, uh, to the education. So that's a rewarding part of, the, of joining the auxiliary. So get on out to the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary Breakfast again at the Faribault American Legion, Sunday, November 27th. Get your tickets down at Sweet Spot or call 507 Two one zero six five four four. Don't forget to bring kids. They'll love meeting Coasty the robot. They're gonna have eggs, sausage, potatoes, sweet rolls, a fruit cup, milk, juice, or coffee, all on the menu. And you all know they have great food. Jim Walsh and the gang do a great job down at the Legion. Oh man, do they have good fiddles down at the Faribault American Legion. Take that in on Sunday, November twenty seventh, from eight thirty until twelve thirty. Thanks, gentlemen, for educating us all about the Coast Guard auxiliary. Thanks it's been Thank our you for having us. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that we didn't get a chance to touch on, and maybe we can do this again sometime. I think that'd be great. Thank you very much. Thank We'd you. love to come back. We love educating folks about things that we know not much about, and this was one of them. I did not know that there was such a thing as the Coast Guard auxiliary. Isn't that sad? But I do, of course, know there's a Coast Guard, the Marines, Air Force, Army, of course, all those branches as well. And now you can become a member of the Coast Guard Auxiliary. You don't have to go to boot camp. You can wear a fancy, these guys look very dapper in their uniforms. Unfortunately, we can't show you that on the radio. Later today, we've got Waterville Elysian Morristown State Tournament Football. We'll be joining you hopefully about 5.30. You're in tune to KDHLAM in Faribault, Minnesota, a cumulus media station. We've got sunshine and 39 degrees in downtown Faribault. From APC News. Thanks, guys. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. A pleasure. Other than the mouse getting stuck, yeah. Things went okay. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the opportunity.